been a little bit quiet the last month. I uh, haven't been doing nothing. I've uh, just been sort of deliberating how to proceed. I was lucky enough to get a gearbox, a TR6060, um, that we actually know has all the gears in it this time. This particular one is a late model uh, 2012 VE, uh, which is basically the same clutch setup as a VF, which meant all my old stuff, concentric slave and fiber and whatnot, was not going to work, mainly due to, you can see here, the spline doesn't run the whole length of the input shaft. So we've been doing a bit of work to get that sorted. The other differences are the shifter doesn't bolt on like it does in T56 to remote uh, shifter linkage. Uh, so there's a lot of cutting up the tunnel and center console to get that in. And then to top it off, it doesn't run a slip yoke like the T56 does. They have a flange. From that, we've done new clutch, new shifter, and new tail shaft. Not ideal, but at the moment, this is what we've got. So, Phillip Island round is June 28th, 29th, and 30th, uh, which is round three of Victorian sports events. I would really like to make that, so we're going to give it a shot. on the gearbox. Uh, the next part of the TR6060 conversion is the clutch slave cylinder. So this is my old T56 uh, clutch slave which made it a bit easier because the um, fitting going into it or the housings for it were threaded. Unfortunately for the new one they run a VF slave. Not too big of a deal. Uh, the only annoying thing is the fitting for the fluid feed is not threaded. They run this stupid circular style thing, which means you then have to run the late model V or VF uh, clutch line, which runs in him um, like that. And luckily, boys at Speed Flow make a VE VF uh, push in fitting. So you run that OEM bit of hard line, and then this just goes into that, snaps in. And then we've basically got the clutch hard line converted to, I think it's an M10 thread there, and then from there you can step it up to whatever you want. So I'll just run that to the next three outside the gearbox, and then the clutch line from there.
just went out for first practice session. Um, it works, which is cool. Uh, first time we've had all the gears, which is nice. Getting into fifth was really, really bad. That spring mod I did for the reverse lockout shifter is it. It's better than nothing, but it's not great either. Clutch release point is also really, really low. So sometimes going from like third to fourth into Siberia, Dark Philippine and Philippine is like, you know, jerks really quickly. The Michelin slicks are so much better than the rallies. Oh my God. Um, they actually grip and they don't, it doesn't feel like you're ice skating. But, yeah. Today's bloody beautiful. Uh, tomorrow is forecast to absolutely pour down, so probably won't be so nice tomorrow. Let's see if we can get the car through that first.
So a weekend all done and dusted, uh, somehow the car survived, which is really nice. I wasn't super surprised with the noise ping on Friday, given that the exhaust was basically straight through, but after the effort of putting in the resonators, massive thanks to Elijah on that. The black flags were a bit of a bummer way to end the weekend, but we've got plenty of time for the next round, so I'll go through. Number one will be redo the rear half of the exhaust, try and see if we can get the thing to shut up a little bit more. We've got to take the power steering rack out, and sprung a little leak, uh, but it's also the original one that's been in the car since 2000. So it's done all right. I'm gonna try a little bit of wiring and new trigger sensors just as the ECU is picking up some uh, cam trigger and sync errors. A little bit of body work to do as well and try and make some more accessible jacking points uh, just because I think one of the biggest learning curves of the weekend was how late to make the call from slicks to wets or vice versa. So it would have been, it would be nice to get the car in the air without having to take any body work off. Overall, car worked. I'm pretty happy, thing did well, didn't bin it. Hopefully uh, next time we're allowed to finish.